Good afternoon, everyone. So I'd like to talk a little bit about FAO's agroinformatics platform. So within FAO, we have a lot of data. Uh, we have a lot of data-centric processes. And the agroinformatics platform is our platform that we're using to uni unify and bring all that data together into one place. So we've made a big effort to curate and to integrate and to federate data on all topics related to food and agriculture. So that includes things like soil, land, water, climate, uh, fisheries, uh, crops, forestry, trade, socioeconomic, and much, much more. So the objectives of the platform are to enable uh, decision-making, uh, to design interventions, to uh, create early warning systems, and to monitor and evaluate uh, projects and interventions. The system itself has been designed so that we can uh, search, share, and analyze data. So the platform has got many different functionalities. I'm just going to run through a few of them here so you get an idea of uh, what we were building or why we built it. So it, uh, it's accessible, accessible through a standard web browser. No special extensions are required. It's uh, mobile friendly, so it works also on a mobile device. It's uh, open source and cloud native, so it scales to many, many users. Uh, it supports raster, vector, and tabular data. Uh, it already has over 2 million uh, uh, different uh, data records within it, and they've been federated and contributed by 90 different organizations. Uh, the whole thing is driven uh, with metadata. Uh, in particular, we're using the ISO geospatial uh, metadata standard. We are making a big effort to ensure the quality to the interoperability and the harmonization of data. So in particular, uh, we are making sure that the data is actionable. So that means, for example, putting it in a COG format on a cloud bucket with a SPAC file next to it so that everybody can use those tools to, uh, to, 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 to analyze the data. We offer integration with modeling. We're currently working on implementing the European Space Agency's Open um, EO uh, initiative, which I would strongly uh, recommend people to go and take a look at. Um, and uh, providing online analysis. So we then use this system to do uh, capacity building and deliver different applications that raises from things like um, uh, uh, country and region specific portals, hand-in-hand uh, -hand initiative, uh, global livestock emissions, water accounting, soil mapping, uh, climate risk assessments, uh, ecosystem restoration, several of the topics that we've kind of seen here in the last few days. Uh, and finally, we have uh, some epidemiological related systems on things like avian influenza and Rift Valley fever. So here's an example uh, where we can see the, uh, the power of putting data together. We have the uh, livestock density, the human density, and uh, together with the outbreaks of the Rift Valley fever, which is a disease that's uh, spread by mosquitoes. So I hope gives you that gives you an idea of um, the platform and what we set out to do. Thank you very much.